and welcome to Modeling Misadventures. And in today's video, I am going to carry on with my attempt to make Fab One from Thunderbirds. Now, in the last video, I created this, which was a 3D printed miniature version of Fab One, and it's a bit rough and ready. But what I needed to do now was to see uh, how well I was going to be able to scale this up to the size of model that I actually wanted. Now, if you want to try and build something like this from scratch, the first thing you have to do is quite a bit of research. And I've been looking on the internet to see uh, what I would be able to get in terms of tires and wheels, because that is really going to be the uh, major part of this that I wouldn't be able to make myself. So getting wheels and tires of the right size and look was really important. Now I spend a lot of time on the internet looking for wheels and tires and I found quite a few like this here, um, which are 114 scale designed for radio controlled trucks. And I couldn't find anything exactly right, but I did eventually on AliExpress uh, come across a set of wheels and tires that I'm happy with. Uh, the, this is the wheel. It's not exactly what the wheel on Fab One looked like, but it's uh, close enough and it could actually be easily modified if I uh, needed to. And this is the tire to go with it. So I've actually ordered these and they're probably going to take a month to come. But in the meantime, now I know the size of the wheels and tires, I can go about scaling up the body. Now, the other thing I like to do when I'm making a scratch build model is to gather as much information as I can off the internet and I look for blueprints and photos and other examples of models and uh, then I put all the photos into a PowerPoint presentation and you can see here uh, that I've got some blueprints off the internet from different sources. Um, I've also got some screenshots from actual uh, Thunderbirds footage and you can uh, just take screen grabs and transfer the, these into PowerPoint and save them as pictures. Um, and it, also I've uh, figured out this technique. You can make uh, some of the pictures transparent. So what I've done here, I've downloaded the image of the 3D print file from Tinkercad and I'm going to superimpose it on top of one of these uh, blueprints to see if I've got the uh, shape right. And you can see here as I move this image over the blueprint that it's actually looking pretty good. So I'm actually quite confident that I've got this side panel pretty accurate and uh, that when I print it, it's going to be a decent representation of the real car. Now, what I needed to do with this side panel was... Uh, cut it up into sections because it would be too big to fit on the 3D printer when it's scaled up. So this was my original side panel from that little miniature model. And I've divided it up into four sections. And also you'll see here that I have put a little peg on here and that's going to align with a hole on here to make sure that the alignment uh, goes um, properly. So that was a fairly easy job to cut that up. Um, and you can see here, I've cut it again here. Uh, this is where there's going, where the door would be on Fab One. And then there's a fairly large rear section that uh, only just fits on the printer. Now this is that front of the side panel that had been chopped up in the Tinkercad. And if I zoom in on it, you can see here, it's pretty small, it's got that little peg on it. Uh, but this now needed to be scaled up. And I calculated from the dimensions of the wheel that I needed to scale this up 727.17%. And this then gives us the size of the front wing uh, that would be in scale with those wheels. So here are the first two pieces printed uh, full scale. And they're quite big and that little peg 
is quite good for aligning them. So now that fits together like that. So I printed out a couple of sets of blueprints here, uh, two different ones. The only difference I can see is that the wheels are closer on this one than this one. But I've uh, 3D printed some fake wheels because I want to use these to test uh, fit and alignment. So I can put those on there. And this is my front wing. And you can see that's going on there pretty nicely. And that's starting to look pretty good, isn't it? That just gives you a better idea of how it might look with the two front wheels in. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so that's where we got to so far. Um, it's taken me a week to get to that point. Um, in the next video, I'm hoping to carry on with the side panels, the door and the rear, rear part. Maybe fasten that together. Um, see how it starts taking shape. But starting to look as though it might be a goer. So I'm going to carry on with it. And with that, I'll say goodbye and I'll see you next time on Modelling Misadventures.